everybody, welcome back for another really fun tutorial using my May uh, 2022 hip kit. So this is actually a pocket album. I did a larger one on my channel, but I thought this was fun because it's mini and I just love how it turned out and we're using only six by six papers. So we can really stretch those 12 by 12 papers with this project. So um, this method is so simple. You can use it for photos or snail mail, but as you see, just a couple examples. Um, of what I did with mine and you also have this little back pocket here but I kind of just left mine for the binding so it's up to you if you want to maybe um, put something there like here would be ideal for a photo and then maybe some notes depending on the memory and then here I just have like a little belly band for you know if you want to stick in some goodies and or you can use gift cards things like that so it came out really cute and it's very, very quick and simple to make. So go ahead and grab your scoreboard. And we're going to be using three six by six papers. All right, so depending on however your photo is facing is how you're gonna be scoring this. But the first score is gonna be two and three quarters and, um, and five and a half. So hold on, sorry about that two and three quarters and five and a half. I put by. So two and three quarters and then five and a half. Pretty simple. So this side right here is gonna be our pocket and I'm just gonna go ahead and score that at two inches. This is really obviously preference how deep you want your pocket, but I thought this was the perfect size for the six by six paper. So you're going to do that three times um, but you just decide, this is great for single-sided paper, by the way. Um, I'm going to use this side because this is the side I used on my original album. So you're just going to really take it and glue this down. And then you're going to have that other score right here, and we're going to go ahead and just fold it. And that's how we're gonna get that really nice little pocket. Depending how you kind of score this, you may have to trim your paper just a little. So I'm just gonna trim mine right here, which is normal for these kind of folds. Okay, and as I said, you're gonna do that three times. So I have three of them right here. Now you're just gonna go ahead and figure out which order you want your things to be in. I'm gonna put mine in the same order as my original one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave this. You're more than welcome to glue it. It just depends what kind of look you want. But I'm leaving this open and I'm attaching it like this. So it's gonna give us that really fun loaded envelope. So you can either glue this all on or make another pocket, but you're gonna have one back there ready. So I'm kind of just binding this against my first piece and I'm gonna just stick it on there. So you see how simple this is? So you have it here, and then the last piece, I'm gonna do the same thing, and just glue that on there. So just the back. And you could do this for more than three pieces. I just thought this was a good start, but you can obviously use as many as you want. So when you're flipping through, you're gonna go like this. So you have this pocket here, here, and then you're gonna have a pocket here, here, there, and there. And that is your album. So now is gonna be the fun part, which is always decorating. So let me show you what I did here. So I'm gonna just grab a little tag to decorate the front. And stick that in here. And I'm using some of my embellishments and my little acrylic one right here. So let me grab that. And I'm just gonna grab some flowers. I'm gonna use some double-sided foam tape to Adhere all these on. So 
here is this. I'm going to start with, this is going to be a little different flower. I have to improvise here because I obviously don't have the same ones repeated. So I think I'm going to do something like this. Again, more double-sided foam tape. And just kind of layer it on there. And then you can take a flower and match it up. Let's see how this blue one looks. I need a pink again. I think I'm going to put the blue on. Let that dry for a minute. And because this tag is so plain, I think I'm going to add a little embellishment on the front. Maybe right here. My other one was a little bit more decorative. So I'm going to post that right there. And then here. I'm going to go ahead and add a photo. So I have these pretty black and white photos. I'm going to use these wood frames from my May kit. These were from my, um, I believe, my April kit. I'm just going to see how these look together. And they kind of just stick on. with me. I'm kind of looking for my um, other photo. Let's see if this one will be better. I don't want to cover up my picture too much. Okay, I guess this is going to have to work. And you can just pop that on there. got these fun stickers. I'm going to add some stickers on here. Oops. Let me add some. Uh, let me take this off. I forgot to take off my uh, sticker to my picture. And these fun stickers, I love them. I actually put them in the front on my tag here, if you can see the flowers. I'm actually try and do that. Let's see if I can fit one of these on here. Because I feel like the gold accent really adds just a little touch. I didn't put that on good enough. And you can add just little stickers on the frame just to spice it up a little bit. Again, I'm using some more foam tape. I'm just popping that on. And I also took some of these stickers and put it on the top just to give the frame, you know, something on the top just to make it come alive a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to stick a tag. This one I actually cut with my dies for my January kit. So I have another picture here. Again, I'm kind of improvising with the frame because I don't have the same size. But let's just see. I'm sure it'll work fine. Even though this is a little shorter. I'm going to put that on this one. And 
don't really need anything there because it has that design there. So I'm just going to leave that one. And another tag, which these you can decorate since these are so plain. You can always add something in them if you don't have the um, die cuts. Especially if you want them to stick a little bit so it sticks out a little. So you can see it's already coming to life. And then this last one here. What I did is I really just took the bottom border of these pages and I'm going to use that basically as my scrap for the belly band. So if you don't know what to do with that part, this is a perfect idea. So I just take it, kind of fold it back and measure it. I'm going to cut that right there. And I'm just going to glue it on this last page right here. And you can stick little stickers in there or whatever and just pop something in there. And you can add another tag. You could even put something like that on top, but I'm going to put this right here. And I do want to show you that the other pockets are here. So if you want to stick something in here, you can, you have that option to stick it in your other pockets. If you want to put like little ephemera pieces or you could even put the flower there. But just to show you that there are pockets. So this is the fun album. I think it's so much fun and you could see how easy it was to make it. And you could make this really large or just for snail mail, um, simple like this. But I love how it came out. And it does kind of open up. So if you want to do something special, you can always take twine if you're mailing it to wrap it up so it doesn't pop up on you. But this was an easy tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to HitKit to um, see more fun videos and get more um, inspiration. All right, guys. Thank you so much.